May I present you for Ryzen's new little nice drone, the Intutrix FPV. And really nice, as you see here. Very small and able to penetrate the smaller holes. In the package is a manual, which is very briefly explain how to to use it, and as well a battery and a charger. I would say that we need to get a proper charger because. One single charge takes more than half an hour and even though that Horizon says that the flying time is around 4 minutes I am not able to with the original battery or any other battery with 200 milliampere hours to get more than 2 minutes and 8, 18 seconds so that's two minutes flight and more than half an hour's waiting. So get more batteries and get a proper charger which can charge more than one battery at a time and at a faster speed than half an hour. I will explain to you how to bind the Intutrix with a Terranis Plus a remote control and uh, it's paramount that the channel is in the correct order or the Intutrix will not function properly. The uh, Taranis, I have set up a profile on it and what you do here in the menu, as you can see here, Intutrix FPV and I have put a picture in so to show that it's a quad drone. I have put a timer in so I don't uh, overuse the battery and thereby shorten its lifetime. So I don't have to buy new batteries more than necessary. And that's the fly time. I set the timer to manual reset. I call for minutes and then it goes down and tell me every 10 seconds when to land. I do it with a voice. And the set here, you see the internal radio is set to off and the External radio is set to DSM2, DSM-X with six channels. Receiver number depends on how many receivers you already have in the Terranis. And the binding is as usual with the Terranis. You have to start this one here. Put some power on. And uh, if it's not binding, it will start blinking and you will have to start binding by pressing enter. The setup is as following. Heli setup, flight modes, not necessary. The inputs is as elevator, alien, throttle, radar, reset and mode. There, the mixer. Channel 1 is necessary to put throttle on channel 1 as well as alien on channel 2 and elevator on channel 3. Rudder is on channel 4 and you will skip channel 5 and go directly to channel 6 which change mode, uh, are, are used to change mode. 
and then we need to set the time The timer is on the special functions. I use the H switch to set the timer to 1 minute and 30 seconds. And every time I activate the H switch, then I reset the timer to 1 minute and 30 seconds. When I want a more agile uh, drone, I take it to a uh, Agile mode and use the F switch for that, and that is placed here. We sit there, and if you notice it, then when you go up, nothing happened, and then you go back. You set it here, you see the LED when it's off, it's in safe mode, and you Switch it to agility mode. That means that if you press the rudder forward, then it keep going forward. So you have the full control of it. And see back again. So it's not a two-way switch where when it's in the one position, it's agility mode, and the other position, it's safe mode. You have to return to home with the switch. So there you go. So, so let's try a little. So there it was very briefly.